Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Game of Thrones revealed a whole bunch of stuff at the South by Southwest panel for Season 7, Season 8, so this is going to be a breakdown. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get everything. There's going to be a whole bunch of Game of Thrones stuff dropping in the next couple months, including footage, behind the scenes stuff, and stuff for the upcoming seasons too. So this South by Southwest panel was a showrunner's panel. It was mostly Dan and Dave answering questions asked by Maisie and Sophie and the rest of the crowd. So they gave away so much more information than everybody expected, including the final episode count, which could still change at the end of the day. But I kind of did this as like a top 20. There was like a whole bunch of information. So there's really like 20 big pieces of information, starting with the big stuff. The unofficial episode count now is six episodes for the final season. So they said when they originally started out, they intended to make a 70 hour movie on television and that wound up being 73. So you have the 10 episodes for the first six seasons and then 13 between the last two seasons. Seven episodes for season seven, then six episodes for the final season. So that could change. But the other big thing is they confirmed that HBO will do a spinoff that they themselves will not directly run or write for. They're like, yeah, we'll work together after Game of Thrones because Dan and Dave are a writing team. But they said, we're not going to do a prequel. We're not going to do any sequels, whether it's a movie or they adapt another book for another TV series. So they'll continue to do things on their own, but it's not going to be Game of Thrones things. But they were like, we're really excited to watch the spinoff that HBO is definitely going to do. But they didn't say what it's going to be, like if it's going to be Robert's Rebellion or if it's going to be something said in the past. We'll circle back around to that because that's like a whole other thing that's going on so they probably won't talk more about the spinoff till we get through the final season hbo doesn't want to like trample on any of the game of thrones stuff that's happening now so they'll be spending most of their time promoting that helping dan and dave get the rest of the episodes out making it as good as it could possibly be so moving along, they talked a little bit about the history of the show. They said Peter Dinklage was the first person they went to when they were casting the show. He was one of the easier people, but the actual easiest person for them to cast was Mark Addy, is the aged Robert Baratheon who had just gone a little past his prime. The hardest character for them to cast was Arya for reasons that will become clear over the final seasons because her character becomes such a big badass. They love what Maisie has done with the character. Obviously they're totally in love with Maisie and Sophie. That's why they had to moderate the panel just because they like them so much. But they said because Maisie Williams is such a huge Ed Sheeran fan and a bunch of the other people on the cast that they secretly invited him to come on and cameo during season 7. They said that they filmed it last year, so that makes it sound like, you know, wherever Ed Sheeran is going to show up during Arya's storyline, it'll be somewhere in the Riverlands and it'll be in one of the earlier episodes. So in the grand tradition of having singers and musicians come on and guest stars, they had Gary Lightbody from Snow Patrol, Will Champion from Coldplay, Sigur Ross from Mastodon. So no idea if Ed Sheeran is going to be someone playing music in an episode or if it'll be like a hot pie thing and there'll be like a funny aspect to it. But they brought him on and they just like totally freaked Maisie Williams out when she saw him on set like holy crap. Jumping forward to season 8, because they're almost done filming season 7, they've already started handing out writing assignments for season 8. They have a 140 page treatment that they're turning into different scripts. Episode 1 is going to be written by Dave Hill. He's been with the show since season 2, but he's been a writer for the past two seasons. Episode 2 is going to be written by Brian Cogman, who obviously you guys have probably heard about even if you don't know who he is. He's written a lot of the episodes of the show. Then the last four episodes are split between Dan and Dave. They kind of write as a team. So they joked a lot about character deaths. Somebody asked them about a White Walker dragon. And they were like, yeah, maybe. And they weren't dismissive of it at all. It doesn't flat out mean they're doing it. But I think they would have been more openly dismissive of the idea if they had never intended to pursue it. So there's a lot of rumors that one of Daenerys' dragons might die during season 7 or season 8 and be turned by the Night King to become his personal mount. Regardless of what George R. R. Martin intends for the story, that is a TV oh my god moment that everybody around the world will be talking about. So it sounds like they're thinking about pursuing it if they haven't already. They joked a whole bunch about killing Sansa. Maisie Williams was like, that's why you still have blonde hair, Sophie, because Sansa is totally dead right now. There was this uncomfortable silence in the room after they said that. And then Dan and Dave were like, yeah, we fight over who gets to kill Sansa in the final season. That was mostly them just joking around a little bit. But way before this, Sophie Turner had revealed that she was going to start shooting season 8 in September, just meaning that she'd survive through season 7. So just one of the few characters, in addition to Davos, that said, oh yeah, we're going to start filming later this year, it'll be great. 
So just a couple people to cross off the potential deaths list. A lot of you have been requesting a video about stuff like that. I will do a death predictions video for season 7 sometime in the next couple weeks. But they said the hardest character for them to kill on the show was Cal Drogo just because they liked Jason Momoa so much. David Benioff joked that they were playing a slap game in a bar during season 1 and Jason Momoa totally broke his hand. So do not mess around with Jason Momoa. This might surprise you. They said that the most expensive death for them to film, it wasn't Oberyn Martell. It was actually Arya killing Marin Trant at the end of season 5. I guess it just required a lot of practical effects, which tend to be very expensive. But going down the list, they all said who their favorite death was. Maisie said Viserys Targaryen. Sophie said watching Oberyn Martell get squished. Dave said Joffrey's death at the Purple Wedding. And then Dan said Ramsay Bolton at the end of season 6. They had some fun trying to step around really spoilery questions. Someone in the crowd asked them, will Jon Snow and Daenerys meet on screen? And of course, we all know that that's going to happen eventually. But they were like, maybe that's too obvious. We should probably avoid that. We all expect it to happen. They probably already actually filmed that scene. They talked about each of the four camera units. Now there's the dragon unit, the wolf unit. Those are the two main ones where they film in Europe. There's the white walker unit, which is like the separate smaller unit. And then when they mentioned the fourth unit that films in Canada for some direwolf sequences, Maisie Williams did her impression of a Canadian accent because she was filming with that unit in Canada recently. So I'll let you put two and two together if they filmed direwolf stuff in Canada and they were just filming with Maisie Williams in Canada recently. So just wonder who might show up during that storyline. They talked about some of the favorite pranks that they pulled on set. Dan and Dave said that most of the time it was them pranking the actors, but there was one time that Nikolai Coster Waldo pranked them like a week before they were getting ready to film a season. He sent them a picture of himself with a completely shaved head. The pranks that they pulled on the cast were usually writing based, like they would hand them script pages for some really crazy scene and make them freak out, making them think something terrible was going to happen. They made Kit Harrington think that they were going to burn all of his hair off and scar his face when the White Walker attacked J.R. Mormont in the early seasons. They made Sophie Turner think that she was going to have to sing during season two, probably for Joffrey. And this one's pretty funny. They gave Samwell a cod piece for his costume that was the size of a loaf of bread. So I can only imagine what they're going to try and do during season eight when they prank the cast because it will be the final season for them. The last real big season seven tease that they gave was that Tyrion would have the best one liner, which is the way it should be. Tyrion is sort of like the proxy character for George R. R. Martin, the one that he identifies with the most. So he was created to have the most wit, so therefore he should have the best one liners. There was some criticism about the quality of Tyrion's quips during season six, but it sounds like they're back on point for season seven. But let me know what you guys think about all this. The idea of a White Walker dragon, the idea that the spin-off is pretty much a done deal and Dan and Dave will not be involved with it. George R. R. Martin will. Once HBO decides the story that it wants to do, he'll help them flesh that out as they find producers, find out who's going to run the show. So there wasn't any new footage that they showed off, but they'll probably drop another trailer in the next couple of weeks. Usually at least every couple of weeks is when they drop a new teaser. So whatever happens, I will totally do a video for it. But if there are any bonus videos that you guys want me to do based on this new information, just let me know in the comments. I'll say congratulations to the new giveaway winner, Candace Quintanilla. I think I'm pronouncing your last name right. Please private message me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact details. You win a copy of the enhanced editions of the books, so my next Game of Thrones bonus video will post next Sunday. Just leave all your requests in the comments below. There'll be new Walking Dead, a whole bunch of new comic book stuff coming in the next couple days too. While you wait for that, you can click here for that Season 7 trailer, and you can click here for new Guardians of the Galaxy footage. Thank you so much for watching. Let's high five. I'll see you guys in the next video.